Alright, I've made my way back to the previous goblin guy. Because uh, he, he was talking about his stolen book. Wow, those did not know that those pages could stack. Alright. Hello, Oligar. You're not wanted here. Okay, that doesn't work. So let's try dragging it to him. They don't want that? Why don't they want that? Really? Huh. Am I doing something wrong? By Crescus, he ah. He smells like rotten fish. Weird. He was complaining that the uh, book was stolen, so I figured if I dragged him to the book, he'd be like, "Yeah." No, he won't. Apparently. Well, my bad. Just head on our way back, and let's try uh, let's try resting. Sleep for eight hours. Let's do it. Corn doesn't have any MP left. Transition complete. You get a 25% experience boost, and the bedroll's still here, so that's that bit of important information figured out. And I can put that on the quick slot down here for the future reference. Kind of a weird lack of quick slots, honestly. I would expect more than a few. I think I've, I've heard they're trying to put this on uh, phones, so perhaps that's why there's only so much real estate given to the interface, because the interface has to fit on a smaller screen. So for us, it feels a little minimal. And if and if that if they do make that kind of compromise for that reason, that that would, that would be kind of a bummer. Anyway, though, get right back up to here. So this is the front gate. This is towards the exit. We have one last tutorial, perhaps a guide to challenging encounters. The battle in the next room will be your biggest challenge yet. Be sure to equip the light bringer and corn with the best weapons and armor you have found in the barrows. Use your bedroll to rest so you have maximum health and energy. Don't forget to use skills! The double strike skill deals much more damage than standard attacks. Pause often so you can give orders to your party to, or, or and take potions when necessary. Remember you can draw lines to party members all their portraits to make them to move them or assign targets. We should review if I've found anything better. But I probably not. I think we most just have a lot of ragged hide armor. A crude wooden great shield. Um, this great shield is seven armor. This thing is 14 armor. Oh, requires base strength of two. Oh, he has plenty of strength. There we go. So we can put that on. Otherwise, we're probably not going to get much done. Let's see. We're both wearing ragged hide armor. He's got his mace of speed. I've got my short bow, so I'll be fine. And all we have is a lot of copies of the same bow over and over again, so... Uh... Oh! Crude wooden bow. Oh, that actually does more damage. Short bow is... Average damage 24.2, 35.8, okay. There we go. Did not realize that we had something better. No accessories so far. No helms. Alright. Let's get this going, then. I'm sure we'll be fine and definitely not very dead. This is some frequent autosaves. Shrade, the Spider Queen. Alright. Shrade. I think we're just going to attack you, honestly. Let's get this pottery started. Oh, we have quantities of enemies to deal with here. Okay. Corrin, let's refocus a little bit. Double strike. There we go. Want to take out these additional targets as fast as possible. Oh, there's the Spider Queen. It, like, he like wasn't spawning for a while. That was weird. Let's give you a potion. Gotta do those every now and then because the uh, there's uh, like a cooldown be to being able to reuse it. Can I really just keep using? I can just keep using double strike. So it looks like there's no real time cost. We made it out of that one alive. It's a bit of a surprise, honestly. There does not appear to be any sort of uh, or any sort of cooldown. It's just about using the the uh, skills until you run out of MP. Plate armor, ooh. Leap ability, leap to the target area, dealing low damage and stunning nearby enemies for two seconds. Requires some strength, also, just a nice defensive thing. Okay. It's gotta be good for him. We'll get over to Corrin real quick. Plated armor of the spider. Hello, you get to be scary now. Please don't die, suddenly, Corrin. I'm really decking you out right here, so if you die, I better be able to loot your body or something, or I'll be very disappointed in you. And, I don't know, your family? Maybe I'll go visit your family and tell them I'm disappointed in you. What are you gonna do about it? You'll be dead. See? All the more reason not to die. 
bit more gold. We have an, an absolute arsenal in our inventory right now. Just the sheer number of pieces of equipment we picked up. It's alarming. Got a gold nugget? They didn't really mention in the tutorial that we started off with a, uh... That we started off with a full-on bag of holding. Let's take the armor off real quick. Does it affect- does it affect his appearance? Not really, no. He looked like- he already looks like he's in armor. Even though I took it off. Oh, I took my armor off. Whoops. Bad example. Okay, so armor does render in this game. Interesting. Yeah, well, I wasn't sure if I should expect it to have an appearance or not. Good to know. Interesting that we have a helm slot, even though I'm a crazy mask guy. I wonder if they just... If they, I wonder if they might find a way to mix the two of them together, or if I just don't actually... I wonder if maybe helms don't show up on my character. Nope, skeleton. We need all the gold. It's an important part of the collection. We are free of this place. Also, you could use some help. There we go. The question is whether or not the next place is safe. Lots of thieves. Oh, there's Johan. We've heard about you. So, they're, they're listed as friendly, so perhaps we can actually talk to them here. Thank you. Goddess, we're out. Alright. We head west? No. East to what is left of the village of Darkwood. Darkwood. We're not bound for Radiance? We were. We are. You see, Radiance is well hidden within the mountains of the northeast, but... Through the ruins of Darkwood, my order maintains a subterranean passage that will lead us to Radiance. The passage is a... Safeguard for us. I see, but it appears we have some company to deal with first. Underneath all that. He seems friendly. I'm sure we'll get along great. Ah, there you are. I was wondering if you two would eventually show up. Who are you? Name's Johan. And these men were with me. They've been, we've been sent here to dispose of you. So what are you waiting for? Draw your sword. Hold on, hold on there. I have no interest in fighting you. My employer didn't mention you were a light bringer. I didn't sign up for that. What exactly did you sign up for then? Not only did my employer fail to mention you're a damned light bringer, but he left out the giant spiders roaming the halls. There are two things I hate in this world. Warm ale and spiders. Those damn eight-legged freaks have killed a lot of my men. This contract is no longer worth the trouble. Sounds like your employer wanted you, you, you dead, too. Who's hiring you? If I had any idea, that man's face would be under my boot. It was a blind contract. No contract with the uh, no contact with the employer. Last time I take one of those. We'll part ways and both keep our heads. Sound fair? Fine. Leave in peace. That's my cue to scurry. Good luck out there. Hopefully we'll never meet again. Agreed. Cue us meeting again like an hour from now. <laughs> We'll see if us sparing him affects the story, or, I mean, we don't... Without loading and checking, we wouldn't even know for sure whether or not it was possible to kill him, or... Like, you never know when a game's being true or not with its decisions. A guide to leveling up. Congratulations, you've gained a level! Every time you level up, you get two points to distribute between four stats. Strength, dexterity, intellect, and vitality. Your stats affect your damage, defenses, and potency in your skills. Equipment may also have stat requirements. For instance, equipping a heavy shield may require a high strength stat, and healing skills will heal for more with a higher intellect stat. You can specialize in a stat that most complements your combat style, but you should not neglect the other stats that, as they may determine the effectiveness of certain skills. Alright. A few different things I can specialize in. Dexterity seems like the obvious thing to focus on because of the fact that I have... Yeah, increases range damage dealt and critical strike chance. So, if I'm gonna go down this bow route, this is probably the thing to go for. Can I just double invest in the same stat? Let's see. Why not? You know, if my party's doing their job, I shouldn't even need my, ex my extra vitality. Let's see if I can get more party members, first of all. I don't think... Do you not level up, then? Interesting stat distribution there. He's got one dexterity and one intellect, but he's got six vitality and strength. I assume three is the base number, and he gets the other ones from a bonus of some kind. 
two strength, one vitality on the mace. That explains... Oh uh, yeah, one strength, two vitality. So he has plus... He normally has three of each, but now he's got six of each because of those two bonuses. That's fine. He'll make use of them for as long as he's in the party. Must loot all currencies. Everything around the environment must be taken. I have no regard for other people. Cabbage? And food. More meat. Got to cooking. You can cook food on any campfire or oven you find. Cooked food can be used to regain health outside of combat with heartier uh, meals, even providing short-term stat bonuses. Meals require specific ingredients to cook. You will find many ingredient, uh, find many recipes as you pl play the game. You can also experiment and discover recipes on your own, which I did earlier when I mixed steak with spices. For instance, a single piece of raw meat will become a cooked meat. Uh, to cook, simply click on the nearby campfire, bring up the crafting window, drag an ingredient in the window, and then quick click the uh, craft button. The ingredient will be consumed, and a tasty meal will be created. Unless you done goof. You goof. Raw chicken, raw venison. So I made a steak earlier. Did I ever actually use that? It's probably listed in their consumables now, right? I don't remember if I used the steak or not already. That's fine. Hey, it's a merchant. That's a big deal. Oh, got what it. Can I do for you? Greeting, stranger. The name's Luther. Traveling merchant extraordinaire. I buy and sell just about anything. Have some extra weapons or armor weighing down your bags? I'll take them off your hands. Need some more potions or food? You come to the right guy. What are you doing way out here? I ran into these folks on the road and decided to travel with them for a while. Wherever there is a group of people, there is a need for commerce. That's what Grandpappy always used to say. Can I see what you have for sale? There we go. Let's maybe go through this giant pile of extra short bows. There's some wooden wands. Let's at least get down to one of each type of thing. There's so many copies. Oops, sold all my daggers. Probably not a big deal. Let's see, short bows are worse, right? Yeah. Probably not going to use these ancient rags. They don't seem to be worth anything. And we have no use for cloth, cloth armor at the moment. It's quite a collection we have here. So we've already made our way up to having nearly a grand. Nice. Ooh, apparently you can mine and fish, so having these things around is not a terrible idea. But it, these, uh, these currency, these, uh, stones seem to indicate that they're only good for selling. This is a slightly unfortunate inventory, uh, slightly unfortunate way of handling this. A few more clicks than there probably should be. Yeah, 1,400. Treasure, so all these are treasures then. Yep, even the, uh, stuff that seems like it might be crafting based is listed currently as being a treasure. Oh, and this is just junk. It's like treasure, but shit. Yay. Even the embalming tools list as junk. Alright. Spatulas and spoons. Why would you call that? Why? Since when is a shovel junk? Everyone needs a good shovel in their collection. I don't agree with this entire concept here. Shame on them. Is there any reason to keep these guys around? No. I'm sure when we get a new character, I'll, uh... If a new character shows up, he'll probably have some level of equipment that fits his character. There we go. The wooden bow of multi-shot. Gives you a multi-shot skill. Fires arrows at your target, dealing damage to them and up to two nearby enemies. So it's multi-targeting. Ooh, even some variations here. Like a turban that teaches you a healing skill. But it's based on intellect, of course. Okay, so this is how, so it is your equipment that gives you all of your skills. That's one way to handle things. So we don't expect a skill tree in this game. Wooden wand. So that's the only bow. I'll go ahead and grab that. Yeah, it does. It has 11 more damage. And then leather cap of healing. Uh, it's a leather helm, so it's good for my character type. Gives me one vitality. I can afford it. Really, almost anything's going to be an upgrade at this point. Nope, this one would be... This one would give me, it would give me immolate, but it would, uh, take away my armor. But hey, I have the intellect for it, so maybe I should just grab it for the sake of it. Let's just go ahead and, I, yeah, I can afford it. Let's just grab some new interesting gear. Then looking at Corin, this, uh, cleaver would give me deep cut. 
a cutting slash that causes medium damage, resulting in a deep bleeding wound. Unfortunately, it gives you less status bonus. Overall, you lose double strike in favor of deep cut, you lose one strength, lose four average damage. So I don't currently have much reason to think that it would actually be any better off. So I think I'll avoid for now. Sure. Let's go ahead and deck my character out here. So let's equip the new bow. Both of my new little toys. And now suddenly we have this whole list of skills. How can we help you today? Let's sell off my previous copies. Oh, sell old treasure and junk. Yay! Obviously I already did that, so it's pointless, but should have found that should have noticed that button a little earlier. Uh, so I have double strike and leap on this character. And I have immolate, healing, burst, and multi-shot. Interesting. So just re just a review, because I don't think I looked at the description of healing burst. Heals you and nearby allies. It's a multi-target heal. Okay, this will be interesting. Sets the ground ablaze, dealing high damage to enemies in the area for five seconds. Ooh. Immolate. What's the range on this thing? Click and drag to use the skill. Okay, so what does it look like? Alright, it's got a decent little circle of danger. There we go. Just like that, I have a whole list of skills all of a sudden, instead of, you know, basically zero, like we had at first. I'll give me more to play with. So we've got this cemetery with three paths I can go down. Here we go, and here's a better map of the overall area. There's a few question marks, marks staggered around, and uh, down here at Darkwood is going to be my ultimate goal if I want to get to where we're trying to go right now. So I'm going to want to start off by hitting... Going by this path here, I'm going to want to head southwest first. What's the question mark? Oh, available quests are these question marks. Curious. So I, I wonder how to get to the one I'm seeing right in the map. Oh, maybe one of these guys. These thieves. Can I talk to you about anything else? Are you looking for anything in particular? Nope. It looks like the same dialogue as before. Can I talk to the thieves? I'm not interested. Oi, what you looking at? Not much else going on there. Available quest nearby. Oh! I'm being attacked by a skeleton. Why not? Oh, I'm being attacked by a number of skeletons. Okay. Let's try this multi-shot then. Boom. Multi-target attack. Alright. So, so I guess we'll just accept the idea that this is totally a graveyard where the, the actual uh, things that are supposed to be kept here just kind of wake up when they feel like it and start just going on little adventures to murder everybody. Interesting. So this map is contained, looks like a self-contained thing, but judging by what I'm seeing outside a little bit, it seems like we might be able to just walk out here and it's all... Oh. Seems like the entire world might be one continuous thing you can just wander around in. Yep, there's the new map. Alright, let's look for this quest that I can go after then. Alright, so the whole thing was seamless. I wonder if it loaded the entire game right off the bat. Or if there was any instancing and dungeons and teleporting at all. Kip. Hello, Kip. Do you have a story to tell, Kip? Make it fast, whatever it is. So I says... Or, so, so I says, okay then, I guess that's it. We can't be friends anymore. Uh, we weren't friends to begin with. Without a doubt, he had it coming. No, no, not you, him. Who had it coming? Gracchus did. Marley says, do it, do it. He won't bother us anymore if he's dead. So I said, fine. Fine, okay. Let me get my shovel. Wait, did you kill somebody with a shovel? I'm sorry, old friend. So sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh... <laughs> can, we, we can either talk about this strange ramblings or look for Gracchus. I should go find Gracchus to see if this crazy old man actually did him harm. You want to find Gracchus? He's home. Should be home. Take this key. It opens the door to his house. I'm not sure why I have it. Um... So he, he just seems like an actual lunatic. But, uh, let's see. Maybe Gracchus is dead in his house. Wouldn't that be a fine predicament? You know what? I can just rest whenever I want to, right? So I might as well just do that right now. Right after I remember how to get to there. Oh, right. I put it on... A, that's the whole reason why I put it on this quick, on this, uh, quick bar. So I wouldn't have to look for it. 
I'm not in combat, so I should just rest whenever I can in that situation. Uh, well... Eh... Yes and no. It could be bad for my... My rest... My, uh, bonus experience, but it... But it would otherwise be probably good for my, uh... Health and mana without having to spend... Potions for it. Hello? What's in the crate? Spatula, and now it's my spatula. No one else can have it. Alright. It's probably not a, the best idea to just go opening random people's houses, but I know. Adventurer time! I can't do wrong, I'm in the I'm the adventurer. Oh, he got killed by a shovel. And I've now taken I've now fleeing with the murder weapon. Ooh, gold coin. He's robbing this guy's house now. Oops. I Corrin just leveled up. Okay, so he does level up. He just was he just had less experience than me. This must be Gracchus. It looks like he was bludgeoned to death with a shovel. I should head back to Kip and see if I can suss out why he would do such a thing to, to someone he calls a friend. Seriously, what, what, he, he's just ruminating over it. I can go sleep in his bed. That's only a little concerning, huh? Kip, why did you do this? Why, Kip? You were the chosen one. You were supposed to bring balance. <laughs> oh, uh, those are bad. Uh, okay, I wandered a little close to for comfort. Probably a good time for multi-shot, really. Let's try leaping in the middle of this mess. This'll be fun. Ah, that's, how's that for a multi-target? All right, let's try casting fire on these guys. That'll be fun. And we'll have you attack this dude just to try to avoid the fire. I don't know if it'll hurt you or not. Don't want to learn the hard way about friendly fire. Okay. Corrin, get in the middle of the fire. Let's 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 learn the hard way about friendly fire. Come into my fire. Oh. Well, that didn't really work out, did it? Let's try that again. No one needs to heal right now. Silly game. Did he get hurt? Nope, Corrin seems fine. Okay. But that was a bit of a mess. Let's do a multi-shot on this wolf. Corrin should target him too. Double strike. Alright, Corrin's having a little trouble navigating around all these enemies. They're just- they're, they're creating such a wall of bodies that he can't navigate it. Let's do multi-shot again. There we go. Alright. Slightly out of our element here with the sheer number of, of uh, opponents. But I can cast a healing burst. So everything's fine, right? Oh, that's not a bad heal at all. It's gonna eat through my entire energy supply, but why not? We're not in any sort of intensive dungeon situation, so I can... I can rather casually just, uh... Just rest between fights if I want to, right? I shall need to sharpen my blade after that hustle. Well, that'll make us a little money, all these wolf pelts. Or perhaps not much. They're worth like 10 each, and we've established how easy it is to get well over a thousand. There's <laughs> just a deer freaking out in our vague, vague area. Oh, forest spiders. Those don't seem very nice. Right, I should give corn a bit of a bonus. Let's go further into strength and vitality. There we go. His level up has now been spent. Kip, how could you do such a thing? I'm gonna go hang out and leave, sleep on your porch. Please don't murder me like your friend. This is normal behavior, right? Just sleep in front of somebody's house without asking them or anything. Not gonna get thrown at any, at, at any villages this way. We got one bonus XP. Yeah. Share ale, old stories. How can you ignore my new friend? How Gracchus, how Gracchus, how? Kip, did you kill Gracchus? Oh, old friend, you shouldn't have said that. Oh no, should not. Now I'm alone. You seem remorseful, but I fear you will kill again. Oh, so I have to say, either say I need to kill him or not. Uh. What is what is you must be dealt with mean? Can we turn him into any sort of authority, or are we just going to take him out? Seems like a bit of a strict, sudden decision. I don't know. He's in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by death monsters. If you'd think that he would just get killed by the, the wilderness if he was this crazy. 
You sound sorry in your own crazy way. I'll leave you uh, out here to live the rest of your days. My wife and I will be waiting, waiting, waiting. Do you have a wife? Is she real? Or is she like imaginary nightmare stuff? What was that? There we go. Oh! Dr. Kipler's not tying set. What in the world? Is that a key item? Yes, it is. The description on the box reads, Learn to tie a knot like a professional. This finely crafted authentic knot tying kit includes several different lengths and tightnesses, uh, thicknesses of rope. An instructional pamphlet. Um... Um... Is that the thing that you do with your wife? Is that the- is that your wife tying kit? 21st of Calio, 64th year, 5th age. Uh, tending this great cemetery has been the honor of my family for generations, but something seems amiss lately. I hear voices while I work, but I can find no one nearby. I swear I see someone out of the corner of my eye, but when I turn to look, no one is there. Recording my experiences in this journal will hopefully keep me sane. I was weeding today when I saw a tall, skinny man dressed in all black at the, f at the far end of the cemetery. He just stood there, staring at me, not moving. I called out, but he did not respond. I, st I stood up and waved, still nothing. Fearing that he could be a grave robber, I brandished my dagger and began to move towards him. He instantly disappeared. Just poof. Gone. I decided to call it a day. On a supply trip down to the City of Lights, I asked Sven at the tavern if he had heard anything weird about the cemetery lately. He laughed and said, of course, that he had heard things. It is a cemetery over a light br over a light bringer borrow. Uh, not wanting to sound crazy, I laughed along with him, not mentioning the recent strange events I have been experiencing. He did make me wonder, though, what if all those dead light bringers buried in the barrows are haunting it? I wish my new friend Marley would eat more. He seems to be wasting away. That is probably why his voice is so hollow. It is good to have company, though, and the weird things going on around here don't seem to bother him. I was chatting with Marley on the porch when old man Gracchus from the, the house across the way stopped by. He asked me to come over for some ale and talk about old times. He gave me a strange look when I asked him if I could bring Marley. Marley keeps trying to take talk me out of visiting with Gracchus. I don't know why he doesn't like him. Maybe he resents my longtime friendship w with him. I brought cheese over to Gracchus' house so we could have it with the ale he offered. Marley came along, although he just sat there suddenly. Later, he, ma he made it clear that he didn't want me to have anything to do with Gracchus. Marley hates that Gracchus keeps coming by to check on me, even though I turn him away every time. I think it's because Gracchus always ignores him. He wants me to make the old man stop bothering us for good. Wow. So he's got an imaginary friend, basically. And judging by the fact that he saw... He saw a silhouette of a man that just disappeared, which seems to suggest that Gracchus isn't just imaginary, but perhaps a spirit of some kind that's hanging around. Let's uh, go in a circle around the house real quick. Oh, you look... you could be it, almost. Oh no, there's just kind of weird rocks and glowy red things everywhere. Never mind. Just looking for some kind of evidence of what Gracchus might be. But I don't know if we'll find anything. Because, yeah, if I... Don't necessarily want to kill the old man, but if I could find Gracchus... I mean, not Gracchus, sorry. Uh, Marley. If I could find Marley, I would kill him. Because he's clearly the dissenting thing here. The, the, the big question is just whether or not Marley is a spirit or an imaginary person. Basically, is the old man crazy or is he kind of possessed? The difference is kind of a big deal. Oop, lightning flash. That was neat. Alright. Need to head on down. Let's stick to the. We'll stick to the path for now. Just a nice, easy way to get around. Hi. Why? Why do we have to do this to each other? Oi! Look what we have here. Some little forest critters lost in the woods. Be careful. Some forest animals have sharp teeth. Oi! We have a live one here. Have at it. Let's get this over with. All right. Well, guess what happens now? I'm gonna start off with a multi shot. You're gonna leap into the middle of this crowd and make a mess. There we go. Do some double strike. Oh, I gotta wait for the- there we go. Cooldown's down. Double strike. Multi-shot. 
gonna keep, just gonna keep hammering you guys. Y'all feeling all right now? Yeah, having the having the occasional heal definitely does not hurt. Oops, I did a multi shot when there was only one enemy left, which means I was just oh I did it was tech course. Not very nice of me. I apologize. Not bad having a heal. Hello. Guys had stuff on them. Some armor. Hello, horsey. Can I talk to horsey? <laughs> Divinity let me talk to horses. 